So this is how we used our equipment in order to uh, get the hot tub and transporter to the farm. You can see we've got my truck, we've got the 20 foot flatbed, we've got the farm truck, and we had the dump trailer. So we hauled all the stuff we needed in the dump trailer, and my truck hauled the 20 foot flatbed with the tractor. We had previously measured, so we knew that everything would fit. The hot tub was located at the top of this hill with this long driveway, so we left all of our equipment in the cul-de-sac, and we decided that we would drive the tractor up and then bring the hot tub down the driveway. So first we took the supplies up after detaching the dump trailer, then we drove the tractor up. You can see this is where the hill is, uh, and that's the house at the top of the hill. So it was also a pretty narrow grass apron to get the, uh, the hot tub. So we started first by uh, getting the electrical uh, disconnected. And then what we'd have to do is move the uh, hot tub about 20 feet along this concrete pad before we could pick it up with the tractor. But before we did that, we needed to get the rollers underneath the hot tub. So we used the forks of the tractor just to lift up at the very edge um, so once we lifted up, uh, we went ahead and got some Schedule 80 PVC. That's 3-inch Schedule 80 PVC underneath it. Those are 4-inch uh, concrete blocks so we could get it up, put the concrete block under, and then slide the PVC underneath just like we're doing here. In a few places, we had to use uh, levers. So we would just use this 4x4 four four and a short piece of 2x4 um, uh, and then standing on it would lever a corner up here and there so that we could reposition the PVC pipe as needed. Uh, it's remarkable what the weight of a man with an appropriate lever uh, can do just to lift up a thousand pound hot tub. So once we rolled it um, about 20 feet, we were able to get it to the position where the tractor could pick it up. So we had to pick it up the opposite direction. So we had to put it up on concrete blocks uh, and then switch the position of the PVC pipes and then roll it so that the tractor could pick it up. We had a slight downhill angle, which helped. So we laid out those four by fours so that the tractor could have the tips of the uh, forklift land right in the middle there so we wouldn't punch through the bottom of the hot tub. So once that was done, we got the uh, forks underneath the hot tub and we're able to lift it up uh, just enough to start uh, bringing it across the grass. So the tractor was strong enough to lift up the hot tub, but it was pretty unstable, um, especially with all of the uneven ground and coming across the train. So we elected to leave the far end of the hot tub uh, on the ground and drag it and use PVC pipe as rollers. Uh, that way it was more, much more stable. So we just uh, went backwards and then we just worked down the hill backwards. Uh, the hardest part was making the transition from the grass to the asphalt, but we went slow, took our time, and used the PVC pipe uh, as rollers, and then went right down the driveway in the same way. You don't see it in the picture here because uh, I was too busy uh, throwing PVC pipe underneath the uh, hot tub to take any pictures, but Fredo would, would roll it uh, onto the PVC, and I would put another one in, and as he would make progress down the driveway, I would take the one out and just keep doing it over and over again. It was actually pretty quick. Once we got to the bottom, we kind of reversed the steps. We set the hot tub back on bricks and then uh, put some uh, strapping around the hot tub, uh, rolled it down to the edge of the trailer, and then we uh, drove the tractor up onto the trailer and then used the rear hydraulic lift to lift up the hot tub uh, up onto the ramps, and then we just rolled it right onto the trailer. Once it was on the deck of the trailer, we were able to drag it into position. We had measured previously, so then we knew both the tractor and the hot tub would fit. Uh, and here's the final position of both the tractor and the hot tub on the trailer. The drive across town was unremarkable. Once we got it to the farm, we used the uh, bucket of the excavator to uh, give it a lift and then put the PVC pipes underneath it and slid it right down the ramp and got it into position. We uh, didn't really have any trouble with this step. It was a little harder on the gravel than it was on the grass, but here it is in its final position. We'll hook it up next week. I think one of my favorite parts is that we were able to do this with equipment that we already had and with supplies that were left over from other projects and tools that we already had around the farm uh, from, from previous things that we were doing. So uh, overall, uh, no cost outlay to move the hot tub other than our time.